I like that this game is so retro, it starts on a record. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's an EP. Notice, this is the single release. Oh. oh I see. So this is the game that we made. We're going to beat this record. It says, yeah, it's Super, Super Brothers right there. Right there. Yeah. Proof that we made it. Yeah. We left out the Spears, the Spears part because we're not egotists. No, we're more like egotisticals. Ego testicles. So let's play this. I guess I'm playing because I'm the one holding the mouse right now. I'm playing! Okay, Blake's playing. You can't tell. Do it. Do the jab. Do the jab. Do, do, do. So this game's beautiful. I haven't actually played that much, but what I have... Uh, I it's The Legend it. of Zelda, as you can see. Um, I made it and the whole game. Mm -hmm. Legends and gentlemen, now I have those two little silver spikes. I get a feel for your stereo sound system. Uh, no. And then click the other one. Hey! Number one. Okay. So this is a... Oh, well, that's a puzzle game. Good yeah, puzzle. It's a puzzle. Yeah, okay, we, uh, don't, we don't care about tweeting. No. Well, we should, because then people would pay attention to our show. Yeah, but this is also... Well, this episode's going up like three months after we record it, so there's going to be a bunch of tweets about playing this game. I don't even have a Twitter. A no, Twitter we, Twitter. we never actually set up a separate Twitter. We just use my private Twitter. That's good. Yeah. Well, why do you, my name There's right. no such thing as a private Twitter. Yeah, you can. You can have it set to private. I don't know why. Why you would you set it to only your friends? Just you like screaming into the darkness, which is essentially what you do, but then the darkness answers back with funny, funny tweets. Funny, funny, fave. Fag. Fag. No, I get more fab than fags. So oh, we play uh, Jordy the Forge, and we have to look. Oh, use your sword. Tip down. So that's how you control your clip. And you can think you can hold and you can move somewhere. I'm walking. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Hey, look at these boots. I wonder mm -hmm. what they were made for. I think they were made for stomping in water. Oh, these no, boots were made for stomping, and that's these boots are made. For me, <laughs> I love his little knee bending dance that he does. I've seen a lot of this game. I've not played it. Tip really? You've seen it? Well, I've not. Well, because we made it, but I haven't seen it since we put it out in beta and those other guys. So, as right. you can see, this is about Captain America. Yeah. We are playing Thor. I'm playing Thor Captain. Thor from the lower steps of Scythia. We met a dark hair girl in a sunlit meadow. We murdered her. We tasted of her blood. And it was delicious. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm Do here to... The Cosmos, <laughs> she was known as Girl, and she seemed nice. Well, she was known as Girl. Right? Yeah. They're not a very original people. Oh my god, wait. It's Terra. Yeah, oh my god. Oh my god. It's uh, Lodos. Tip tap. Tip tap. Blocking a cavernous cave. There was, or is there now? Hmm. I'm confused by tenses. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like things when things get tense. <laughs> you know what? That's why I hate camping. Mm-hmm. Or because it's pretty intent. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm not doing that joke again. It didn't work the first time. I liked it, though. It's, it's one of my favorite terrible jokes. Mm. Can I tell you my favorite terrible joke? It takes about 20 minutes. Uh, oh, I, 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 I will start my terrible joke. That, that takes 20 minutes, and then you start yours. Okay, let's do it both at the same time. All right. Okay. So, there I, was this uh, in a small town. A bear, had a, a bear walks into... It was an unknown... A bar. Place. Very, and uh, the bartender quiet. says... The bartender uh, opened it. It was the only other bar in town. And there was... Uh, they had room for 12,001 people. Occupancy. Uh, so, uh, one day he was sitting there, and the business wasn't doing so well, because it was a small town. And there wasn't 12,000 people in the town, so he was like kind of regretting buying this much space. When one day, uh, 12,000 robot clones until the... Oh. Oh, right. you're done. Okay. Wait, wait, so wait. it's like 20 minutes later and we eat dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Take that. Anyway, so 12,000 clones... Can I just say we had to stop um, uh, for... Oh, look, you can look around. Yeah. Woohoo! Woo this game originally was on a tablet and on, like, iPhones and Androids and shit. In case it, you can tell why the... It was on Androids? Yeah, it was. Wow. Well, it, it took a lot of data. Woo! Was, I didn't know how to make that joke, so I'm glad you did. <laughs> so twelve thousand robot clones until, and uh, so the standing. I want to kill this dog, but it's not letting me. No, because you, you're not supposed to. Oh, okay. Oh, it's on rails. Well, fine. If it's on rails. Well, it's actually on small wooded path. But can I look at this sign at least? Yep. Harvest where the hearth is. Why did you bother putting that in the game? It's not even interesting enough to not comment on. <laughs> we had to pause because my meth dealer, I mean, sorry, by meth dealer I meant my cocaine dealer had shown up. Mm -hmm. By the cocaine dealer, he means the guy who gives him cocaine, in case you're wondering. I wish this wasn't coming out so long after Rob Ford. I would make a joke about Rob Ford. Yeah. 
Who is Rob Ford exactly? Um, Instead of intentionally, is he the Toronto guy? He's the Toronto mayor. Uh, oh, okay. We won't talk about it. By the time this comes out, it'll be like, like, like Craig Ferguson will have done a bit on it or something. The real reason the police knew Ford was smoking crack is because he predicted the Maple Leafs would win the Stanley Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Craig Ferguson's usually on the ball. Oh, look, yes. that guy doesn't look scary at all. Not really. Bam! I like this, though. Yeah. This reminds me of... I don't know why, because it's just a bush. <laughs> but it reminds me of... The last president? <laughs> oh, you, that, that's not possible. That defies... Not, you're, you're a separate you're, entity. You're, you're not no, the dude. No, I'm going back to Call, Call of Duty. I, I like games that are realistic. Because <laughs> Call of Duty is totally realistic. The Jerry, could you put a bit in here when the latest one you shoot guns in space? No, Jerry, can you do a thing where the, the guy comes out and goes, That's the, the joke. joke! Yeah, do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny because he sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's the joke! <laughs> Don't be racist. Um, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> the writing in this game is great. To the haunted folk in caucus, he was known as Logfella, and he seemed cool. This the game's tone is really odd. Like, it's sort of really s serious and sort of, uh... It's like the Log Lady, only not. Not. It's sort of Shadow of the colossus and it's sort of it's quiet and meditative. But it's also really silly and goofy. So you're supposed to go up for that. He, wait, he seems cool, does he? We'll soon see about that. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay. He's got your number, pal! Um... He's gone. He's, he's gone. I wanted to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, 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 he saw that, and he left. Well then, take this, Wood! Really? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so go up go up the path. He's leading me up the garden path. What? I'm... Don't scroll yourself... What? You can move the camera. Ah! Hey, Steam. Oh. How's it going, Steam? I'm playing this on Steam. I didn't... In case you couldn't tell by the fact that it's the only way to play it that uses the mouse cursor. Can I say the one thing that really annoyed me about my follow thing is the fact that you could see the mouse cursor, but it wasn't synced up to the movements of the... Why didn't you turn off mouse cursor? Because I don't know how. Oh, okay, we'll do that next time. I guess I will. Anyway, continue your joke. It's very boring. Uh, so 15,000 robot clones enter the bar. It's not boring. And he's, uh, like, they come up and he's like, hey, uh, is it okay if me and my 15,000 no, robot clones take part? And they're like, and he's like, yeah, sure, I guess. You guys are going to have to order something. He's like, oh, yeah, sure. Um, it's like, do you want a menu? It's like, yeah, we'll take a menu. Um, we'll just go sit down and start playing some, uh, Pochisi. So the 15,000 robot clones were sitting at the multiple tables playing Pochisi, and they're sort of ordering drinks. And, uh, ordering drinks back and forth, and finally, the, when the, one of them, he didn't know which one, he assumed it was the leader, but it could have been any of them. I uh, walked in, and was like, okay, yeah, we're ready to order our food now. And he's like, oh, okay, uh, what would you like? It's like, well, um... Is it okay if we do like some customization? He's like, yeah, sure, of course. There's fifteen thousand of you. It's fine. It's like, okay. Uh, so what we want is uh, some eggs Benedict, but hold the eggs Benedict. He's like, what? what? What do you mean? It's like we want eggs Benedict, but just hold the eggs Benedict. What? So okay, what we want is this. Like, we want the eggs Benedict, but just just the sauce. Okay, just the sauce. Yeah, and could you um, give it to us on a uh, on a hubcap? On a hubcap. Yes, yeah, so you want just. Eggs Benedict sauce on a hubcap, yeah. Why would you want that? Well, because there's no plate like home for the hollandaise. Anyways... Yes! <laughs> so we're playing Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, that is from the Nobonic comic. I believe if you Google 15,000 robot clones Nobonic, you'll be able to find it. I, I... I wish I didn't know what to say, but I do. <laughs> You're stupid and I hate it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh, see, there's a monster. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, that's good, because it seems to be a bore. And I'm bored! Hey-o! He <laughs> must have and he figured he'd just let us handle it. This is a very meditative game, and completely the wrong game for us to play. <laughs> this is actually somewhat why I wanted to do it. I wanted to see what it would be like to us be total jackasses over a game A, that's both slow, and B, I respect. Oh, I see. You press this to slash. Yeah. And you press the other one to axle. Oh, uh, to the hack. Game. No, no, Axel Rose is... No, 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 Slash is from you, too. I'm so dumb. Okay, we'll fight. Fight? I don't want to fight it. No, we're just gonna go. I like his three eyes. Oh, no, no, we're fighting it now. What? I, and then, what? What just happened? I think we're being tutorialized. Okay, so, Slash... Okay, and you block when he... Yeah, like that, and then Slash. 
Yeah, you can just see that he's never gonna come at you. You have to time it. Ah! 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 Okay. You, he's, we've done one damage to him. Okay. Oh. See the stars in the right corner? Yeah, slash! You have to block and then immediately slash? I think so. Or maybe just slash as he's jumping towards you. Alright, we'll try that. Yeah! Alright, alright. I, oh. I, I unstarred him. Yeah, fuck. He just leaves. <laughs> that, there's no... There's not, that, that's not rewarding. Okay, now the dog and the man come back. Oh, yeah. so you don't get to... I, I, click away. I don't get to remove his head? No. He's the, he's the woodsman. He's the good guy. He just killed the big bad wolf. He chased away the big bad wolf. We're gonna go this way up to the graves. I was about to collect our graves and I think it to the side of the old road and wondered what was up with that. This game's kind of trying for like a quirky, funny writing style. I don't really dig it. It's just, it's sort of like, it's, there's not much effort put in and that's kind of the joke. But, mm -hmm. you know, like they put so much effort into the graphics and everything. I don't know. It just seems like it'd be better. To, it's, it's, not, it's funny to have jokes about how you put no effort in to make jokes. Mm -hmm. It's funnier to have funny jokes. Yeah. Well, so, I Brendan, I on that last <laughs> joke that you made. See what I was doing there? It was metatextual. So yeah, but I think that really what they were going for is like this is like a fantasy world, but they talk like disaffected twenty year olds. Sure, but they could, you know, they, it could be. I don't know. I've played a lot of adventure games in my time, and there's been some funny descriptions that are still done within tone. Mm -hmm. They keep the tone in. Yeah, this, the writing and the, everything else in this game kind of disagree with each other, and I, I remember getting to a point where it didn't bother me as much as it did in the beginning. Probably that's the way it goes. You should have, uh, the you music's know, got, nice. Oh, the music is uh, gorgeous. Just listen to this for a couple of seconds. Alright. And I'll dance. Oh, the bushes are dancing. Do the shuffle. Spider a little mess box. Look kind of like a face in a creepy way. I guess. I guess. Yeah, it does look like a face. Look, it's like a No, but I, I mean, gas. I mean, I guess that that tone's appropriate for for like to have a bit of a distinct tone. It doesn't have to be though. Like, we found an old building by the side of the road. Yeah. And its visage brought mm. back the memories of the demons of the dark. Of the of the of the underdark. Of the Strathcore dark wizards of m mental gorse. Yeah. But you know, it could be like. I don't know. I'm not. I, I do write these things, but it takes me more than a few seconds to come up with a line. Per <laughs> Plus, I'm clicking right now. I'm playing the game. I should, don't make me write your jokes for you. Or your. Oh, here's one of the core mechanics. You can see there's a rainbow. And then... See, there's a giant face. Oh. See? Oh, oh, I see that. Yeah, it's a bit of a face. Do I have to deface it? I think you click on there and then you click on the stone, I think. There's and the angel of Berish Precious. I totally stole it from this, by the way. Stone carved with the glyph of a Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword. By Skyward Sword. For Sounds Nintendo Entertainment. For the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's not that great. It's probably mm. my least favorite Zelda I've played. B beneath the colors of a rainbow, but also the rainbow itself. Not just the colors. Because you know, I did mention uh, although the colors the and earlier. are actually rainbows. So We loathe rainbows. I loathe you very much. So I guess go talk to the woodsman? Uh, well, thanks for telling me the only thing that is currently possible to do. In case I hadn't worked that one out. Uh, I've seen people play games before, man. The woodsman, known as Logfeller, chosen to chill out beneath the stone... Oh, if, it's, if this is the language, it should be like... The woodsman, known as Logfeller, had chosen to chill out beneath a stone shelter. Near the perilous precipice. Sounds a little bit like that guy from Game of Thrones who hangs out with the dragon lady. Logfeller seemed to know all about the lonesome, loathsome rainbow and the nearby glyph depicting the Skyward Sword for the Nintendo Entertainment System 1995 on uh, when you pre-order it with the Nintendo Entertainment Nintendo System. Nintendo does what Nintendo don't. And yet Logfellow offered zero help about what to do next, which kind of rubbed us the wrong way if we're to be totally honest. I can't turn into the next in like half a second. <laughs> it's my nose. Alright, well, um... Go back to the, uh, the Skyward Sword and then activate your sword.
what I was going to, don't give me away the clue, the, the things, I will, that was what I was going to do, but no, no one will ever believe me, nobody will ever believe me, oh, stand over here, let's undo this, let's stand, stand, yeah, the graphics don't really remind me of it, but this game does remind me of, like, sort of Super Nintendo kind of action RPGs. Like, sort of, uh, Legend, not Legend of, Legend of Gaia? Le guess. Legends of the Fall? Legend of the Fall. It's like Legend of Gaia mixed with a bit of, um, uh... Now, wait a minute, this hasn't happened yet. If I have any choice in the matter, I'm not bridging the, ca the chasm because it's gross, it's like a yucky tongue. And look, there's bats flying inside it. We, we, we told Longfellow that we sought a burdensome book of sinister sorcery, known as the Lequinomicon. The Lequinomicon. Le the the Megatome from Mega 64 lurked somewhere in the haunted darkness beyond the perilous precipices, beneath the Ming. I'm evoking your speaking rights. <laughs> Words resolved to blah blah blah, no one cares. So, cross the tongue. I don't want to. Cross the tongue. this way. Cross the tongue. Let's go back this way. Look, those bats want to give you hugs. Oh, look at this over here. Look at the little cross. Oh, there's a little cross over here. You know, we saw it in a solitary grave at the edge of the perilous precipice. And we, like, wondered, like, what was up with that? Like, what? You know what's up with that? Yo, like... Crossing what? the goddamn tongue. We spread the... the you know, um, do you know here why, how, why the uh, priest was arrested? Why? Uh, he was feeling a little cross. Uh... <laughs> oh boy, priests oh rape boy. everybody, that's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> they don't rape everyone. I'm standing on a tongue! You're upstanding. Now, what happens if I slice the tongue? That seems like a bad idea. <gasps> That that seems like a like it seems like a, a very bad idea. Retract your tongue. <laughs> Retract your tongue. Sword got your tongue. Oh, look at your hair. You have like really long hair. Actually. Okay, this does nothing. No, I am not amused. Let's go inside, and on the next episode of Super Spears Brothers, we'll. You can just tap and hold to move. Use tap and hold. To move. I like how they tell you that now. <laughs>